Ideally, the only thing being shot into the air during the 4th of July, you would hope it would be fireworks, but some celebrations have turned dangerous after people shot guns into the air. One bullet even hit a man walking through Bush Garden. Tampa police have confirmed 36 year old Scott Deal was struck by a bullet that was fired outside of the park's property. Deal was treated at Tampa General Hospital. He's home now, but it was just one of three incidents in Hillsborough County, all of which happened within just a couple miles of each other. 10 News reporter Shannon Viadolid is live at the Knollwood Manor apartment complex where one of those incidents happened. And Shannon, people that you talked with today, they are not happy right now. And not at all. We've been talking to people all afternoon. Many at this apartment complex say they're frustrated and angry because they say what happened at Bush Gardens could have happened here. A stray bullet went into a woman's apartment just here behind me last night. She was not home, but this complex wants to find the person or persons who fired the shots into the air because someone they say someone could have been killed. Police say 61 year old Elaine Hunter came to her apartment and noticed a hole in her bedroom ceiling, then found a bullet below it on the bedroom floor. Investigators told us there is no reason to believe Hunter was targeted. They believe it was from celebratory gunfire. Crews were here this morning working to fix the damage done to her apartment. We did speak to Hunter's neighbor, Michael Bryant. He has small kids. He says he's really upset that someone is firing shots in an area where so many people live. If it was one of my children, they was watching TV and next thing you know, I come in, I see my child laid out on the ground. You know, it's, it's just tragedy. Like, if anything, it's like be more respectful of people's houses and them being in there and their safety in their lives. Another victim about 12 minutes from this apartment complex found a hole in the windshield of her Kia Soul. Police also confirmed that was from celebratory gunfire. Again, one person injured. Two other victims had uh, damage done to their property. Police have not made any arrest in any of these three incidents, and they're still working to confirm if these shootings were related. For now, we're live in Tampa. Shannon Valladolid, 10 News.